everyone and welcome to another tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make this pinwheel bracelet and this was designed by Heirlooms on Instagram. I'll have his name in the description box below and I'll bring it up here in just a second but first I wanted to show you this design. So you can do a lot of different color combinations with this. Um, this is the most traditional one that I like to use um, but obviously it's up to you what you want to do. So um, yeah, <laughs> I'll bring up his profile so it is air.looms. Like I said, I will have his name in the description box below. And this is his account. You can scroll through um, and look at his photos. I've done tutorials for him in the past, so he has a lot of really nice designs. And you can check him out. I like his photos and give him a follow for me. And we'll go ahead and get started. So first thing you're going to want is a hook. I'm going to use a double-ended hook, even though you don't really um, need one. You can always just flip the bracelet around if you need to. You're also going to want a C-clip at the end to secure your bracelet and some bands. Today I will be using a similar color combination to the one in here. So for the white up the middle, I'll be using navy blue jelly. Then for the fuchsia medieval here, I'll be using navy blue medieval. And for the glitter silicone gold, I'll be using this glitter silicone dark blue. So to start, what you're going to want to do is take your navy blue jelly band, cap that on your hook, and pull another navy blue jelly band through. Now what you're going to want to do is pull two, or sorry, one um, navy blue medieval band through each side to, cr to create a six loop setup. So with that cap band you'll pull a band through the first two and lift the outer one. Then you turn this around lift that other cap band and pull this navy blue medieval band through the first two lift the outer one. So you should have six loops on your hook now and what you're going to want to do is take this third band or this third loop you're going to pull it over the second and then just kind of hold it there so it looks like this then take your glitter band and pull that through just those first two loops and close. Now you're going to do the same thing to the other side, so go ahead and turn that around. Take this third loop, cross it over the second, and then just take your finger and kind of hold it there so that it doesn't pop back over. Take your glitter band through the first two and close. So now you should have six loops on your hook once again. Now what you're going to do is take your navy blue jelly band. You're going to pull this through the first five loops. And you're going to lift this first one closest to your hook. Skip the middle two and lift the outer two. Now don't um, rearrange these ones that you just pulled through. Because what we're going to do is um, actually need these to be crossed over to the inside. So once you have that going to take your navy blue medieval band, pull this band through the first three loops, and you're going to lift this outer one. Now be careful that your glitter bands don't pop back over, that they kind of stay in the order. But once you do that, it should look like this. You'll turn this around, and this band is already going to be in the middle, so you're just going to move this other band over. And what I've found out is that if you pull um, a band through everything and kind of try and keep these in the middle, by the time you turn it around it just kind of pops out anyway, so I just leave it and rearrange it when I get to this side. But anyway, you're going to take your medieval band through the first three loops and lift this outer one, which if it gets um, out of order you can always try and fix it like that or you can just put it all back on your hook and try again from there. But this is what it should look like once you're finished and now you're back at the six loop setup we had at the start. So I'll show you how to do this a few more times. You'll take this third band here, cross it over the second which is that navy blue jelly band. And you're just going to hold it there so that it won't pop back over. Take your glitter band and pull that through the first two and close. Turn this around. Oops. Now take this other third band and cross it over the second. Hold it there. 
and take her glitter band, <clears throat> take her glitter band to the first two, and close. And now you'll have this blue band in the middle that we need to pull a band through. So take your navy blue jelly, pull this through the first five, lift the first band, which is your glitter band, skip the middle two, which is the navy blue jelly, and pick up the outer two, which are the other glitter bands. So I'm just going to hold this on the inside and take my medieval band and I'm going to pull this through the first three loops trying to keep those bands in order. I'm going to lift that outer one which is the navy blue jelly. Now I'm going to turn this around and as you turn this around those bands are probably going to get really twisted unless you do it slowly. So just be aware of that. Make sure you cross both of these glitter bands over and into the center. And then pull this blue band kind of out to the side. Take a medieval band through the first three loops. Oops. And lift this outer one. Can be a little bit difficult to grab, but you'll get the hang of it eventually. And now it should look like this. I'll show you one last time. I'm going to take your blue band, move it over, or your navy blue band over to the outside, cross it over that second loop, grab your glitter band, pull that through just those first two loops and close. Turn this around. Take this third band over the second. And take your glitter band through those two loops and close. Now take your blue band through the first five, lift the first, and then skip the middle two and grab the next two. So the first, the third, or the first, fourth, and fifth. Then take a medieval band through the first three and lift the outer one. Turn it around. Make sure you put both of those glitter bands over the navy blue and onto the inside. Take your next medieval band through the first three. Lift the outer one. And now I will show you how to finish it off. So you're not going to want to finish it here actually going to take this band and cross it back over and you're going to pull on a glitter band just like the regular process we've been doing and you're going to do the same thing on the other side take this third band cross it over the second take a glitter band through those two loops and close now it should look like this and instead of pulling a blue band through the first five and continuing, you will pull your blue band through all six and close. So it'll look like this. Um, but yeah, that's what it should look like. And that is going to do it for this video. So thank you for watching. If you liked it, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Ooh, hit my camera and subscribe. I will have Heirloom's name in the description box below. Make sure to check him out on Instagram, give him a follow for me, but that is going to do it for this video, and I hope to see you next time.